today when Katarina was born. Oh, it was 1st of May, <laughs> 1998. She was uh, a little girl. When she was young, maybe three, four years old in our neighborhood was a tennis court. Time after time, she spent more time on the, on the court than we. I used to pick up the balls in my dumb purse when I was three years old and slowly I started like holding a racket, slowly picking up balls. So my dad heard about IMG and he decided to take me here and see how it is. My husband and I decided to show her how it is uh, to play uh, serious tennis. It uh, looks like in such an uh, academia like uh, Nick Politeri, like IMG Academia. So when I first came here, they put me in the ESL class. I could barely talk. My grammar was pretty good my first semester. The teacher was teaching grammar, which I knew, but I needed to talk. So after my first semester, I got an A in the class. I went to the rector of the ESL and asked her, I really want to move up. I don't think this is my level. And it was, me with 10 other American kids, and we were started reading this whole huge story right away. First, I couldn't say it, I was completely lost. I probably worked double or even more than all the other kids on English, but even the biggest accomplishment when he asked me to have a speech at the graduation, I was so nervous, I still don't remember most of the parts that I said in the graduation, but get through it. And then from there, I realized that I can keep going in academics at a don't want to give up, just like I don't want to give up on tennis. So Fermat, I found Fermat as a perfect fit with both as an equal, like a perfect balance between the two. We here work so hard, every single second is dedicated to something that made us more, definitely more independent. She uh, chose a college which is best for her, that's what she said to me. I feel like for us, from here from MD, it's going to be so much easier to get into college because we already have the team spirit of working together and so hard every day that nothing and don't definitely don't take anything for granted.